morning. Good morning. Welcome to our fourth. This is our fourth one. Challenger Connection. I'm Commander Melissa. And I'm Commander Jennifer. And today we're going to do an experiment dealing with density and buoyancy. So follow me. And all you need for this experiment really is your kitchen sink and a few other items that we'll talk about in just a minute. First of all, we want to talk about density. Density is the mass per unit volume of an item. So if you've ever jumped in the pool or thrown things in a swimming pool, some things sink and some things float. So let's look at some items here. I have these two spheres. These two spheres have the same mass, but they have different volumes. Having the same mass means they have the same amount of metal in them. So what's going to happen when I put them into the sink? Will one flow? Will one sink? Will one sink, will one float? Let's find out. This one feels like it might not have as much mass, but it's got a lot more volume. So let's put it in. What do you think is gonna happen? Let's put it in. That one uh, floats. Then we have this little one. Feels like it has more mass, even though it doesn't, but it has a lot less volume. Let's see what happens. It sinks. The densities of those two are different. Anything that has a density less than one will float. Anything that has a density greater than one will sink. All right, we have a few other items here. Let's look at what we have here. We have a metal cube. Sink or float? Let's find out. We have a wood cube. Hmm, have you ever been down to the river and seen trees just floating down the river? Hmm. Ah, float. Density less than one. And then we have a styrofoam cube. Let's see what happens. Definitely a density less than one. Look at it. It barely breaks the surface of the water. So, buoyancy is the ability of something to float. And if you're on a boat, you want it to float and you want it to carry as much as possible. So we're going to do a little experiment today because boats come in different shapes, they come in different sizes, and you have to think about how to engineer a boat to make it float. So, Commander Jennifer, are you ready I'm to ready. build a boat? So I have a question for you, yes, Commander Melissa. Why did the bigger one float and the smaller one sink? Even though they have different densities, you said they have the same mass. Mm -hmm. So what's the big difference in the two other than one's bigger than the other? Uh, volume. So what's taking up all that space? In the oh! There's a lot of air. A lot of air taking up some yes. space. So that's uh, submarines. So basically mm -hmm. when things are more compressed, mm -hmm. they're more dense. Which right? we learned compression in we one of our Challenger it. connections. We did. We did. Okay. All right. So Good. I'm ready to build my boat. What do All I right. need to do? All right. Miss Jennifer, you will need to cut a piece of aluminum foil mm -hmm. 16 centimeters by 13.5 centimeters. Okay, 16 by 13.5. So I'm going to find a ruler. Yes, you need a ruler. And I'm doing centimeters, so I'm going to find a centimeter yes. side. We're doing science, so we need to do centimeters. We need to do centimeters. All right, so let's see here. 16. Point, 16 by 13.5. Okay. We start at zero. Sixteen's right here. All right. So she's using a sharpie to draw the line. So when she goes to cut mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. So and basically, all I'm needing for this then is foil, a ruler, sharpie, some kind of sharpie, scissors. scissors. And you could really do it without the sharpie. Okay. Thirteen point five. Thirteen point five. So what does the point five mean? A half. A half. Okay. Five tenths. A little bit of math there. A little math. Okay. And if I'm not, if this isn't a perfect line, is that okay? That's okay. All right. I'm just going to put my 16 right here on the end. Yep. So she's going to finish off her rectangle. And then you need to cut it out. Okay. So 
sometimes is a trick at home, you can use the sides too. Use the sides. But if the sides are kind of messed up, that might Not affect your boat. Up. And I don't always tear foil neatly, so my sides are usually mm -hmm. always messed up. And again, what happens if I accidentally uh, tear this a little when I cut it? Is that going to be okay? It, it can I start be. Over? You might want to start okay. over because we don't want water to leak into our boat. Okay. So you might want to get some help and have somebody hold it for you like this. I'm just going to go ahead and cut all the way over. Okay. There you go. All right, so Miss Jennifer, when you are finished cutting, mm -hmm. you are going to make a boat by folding or creasing, and then we're going to see how many pennies that boat will hold. Okay. Now, let's think about some different boats. Okay. We, we know, we know mm -hmm. about canoes, mm -hmm. kind of shaped like that, kayaks, uh, big cruise ships, mm -hmm. And what do you see on our river all the time? Barges. Barges. Mm -hmm. Barges are flat. Flat. Yeah. So. I think I'm going to go with the barge shape then. All I think right. I'm going to go with the flat. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll That's see. what science is all about. We're going to find out. I'm going to try to measure. So I'm folding my sides. I'm going to mm -hmm. measure. Let's say. So you're going to kind of make a tray, it sounds yes. like. All right. I'm going with two centimeters here. I've been marking a couple places. So maybe my folding will be okay. And you know, sometimes with foil, it's not the easiest yeah. to fold. And Miss Jennifer's very detailed. If you just yeah. want to fold it. Yours may not be quite as detailed as mine is. Okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna fold this in half. Mm. Try to make it a little more stable. I'm excited to see. Well, Miss uh, Jennifer is making her foil boat. Let's look at this piece of foil that I just crunched up. Do you think it's going to float or sink? I'm going to throw it from over here. Um, not much water left. Oh, <laughs> it Did is. Did we lose our water? We have, but we can fill that back up. It is floating. So. What you can do at home is you can find all sorts of items with permission and toss them into the sink, toss them into the bathtub, see if they sink or float and see what their densities are. So how are we doing, Miss Jennifer? Um, we're, we're doing. All right. <laughs> While she's finishing that up, I'm going to go fill the sink so we can get ready to test. And I'm going to move all of our fun stuff out of the way. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking flat like a barge. Let's see. I hope I didn't tear it anywhere to have any water leaks, but we'll see. Okay, I think I'm ready. All right, Miss Jennifer, bring that boat over, and we're going to put pennies in the boat. What's your prediction? How many pennies oh, do you yeah. think it's going to hold? 15? 15? Yeah, I'm not real optimistic. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to have faith. So, right. go ahead. So, here's first test. See if it's even going to float without pennies. Oh, oh, very good. Okay. Now, remember, barges are built to make, uh, are built to carry a lot okay. of yeah. supplies and things. Okay. So, go ahead. Let's start right, having I'm going to grab some pennies here. I'm going to try to spread them out. What are we at? We have four. Four. Five. Look at that. I'm trying to spread them all out. Six. Well, you want to do that. You want to balance. Seven. Um, thinking about. Eight. You don't want everybody on the same side of the ship. Ten. Or canoe. Have you ever Open. tipped in a canoe? Yes. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and my kayak. Fourteen. Oh. Fifteen. She's oh. mad her prediction. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, 
20. Commander Jennifer, wow. 22. You're a better boat builder than you thought. 23, 24, pretty proud. 25, 26, 27. Are you sure you're not a boat engineer? Uh, no, maybe I need to be. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 38, 39, 40. How are we doing over there, Miss Sarah? Was... Can you see that? Is it still doing okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. What about you, 50? Just 50? 40, 41. Oh, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, Ooh. 47, 48, 49, 50. Fifty-one. Oh, oh 50. 50. 51 sank it. 51 sank it. All right. Let's come back over here and okay. discuss what. Maybe we should just let the let's, water out. Yeah, let's... All right. There we go. All right. Well, Miss Jennifer dries her hands off. Let's talk about what made the boat sink okay. finally. Well, it just had too much mass. Right, too and then mass. the water came up over mm -hmm. the edges. So if you were to rebuild that boat, what would you do differently? I would probably make my sides a little bit taller, right. but I almost feel like I would need a bigger amount of foil. Ah, so what we want you to do at home is we want you to cut out a piece of foil that is 28 centimeters by 25 centimeters. Oh, that's bigger. And yeah. it is bigger. Build a boat, put your pennies in it, and then we want you to post a picture of your boat and how many pennies it held. And does their boat have to look like mine? No. Can I do a different shape? I've seen canoes, kayaks, yeah. uh, cones, you name it. So you are the boat engineer, and we want to see your unique designs. All right. Well, Commander Jennifer, I hope we get some great pictures uh, from our kiddos. So, yeah. I All hope right. I, my challenge is that you beat me. Yes. Get more pennies than more than, I did. more than 50. Yes, more than 50. But you beat your prediction. I so. did by quite a bit. Good so job. I didn't make a very good prediction. But no, that's all that's right. We learn. We learn from right. science. Good job, Commander Jennifer. Thank you. All right. We will see you next time on Challenger Connection. This is Commander Melissa. And Commander Jennifer. Over and out.